this video takes us on a virtual tour demonstrating the operation and the functioning of biohydrogen pilot plant at IIT Kharagpur. The Bioprocess Engineering Lab has been working for the last 10 years on the development of various green technologies to produce hydrogen from organic wastes. Among them, dark fermentation appeared to be the most promising technology. The plant is equipped with various feed tanks, each of a capacity of 3 meter cube. It is also equipped with a seed tank of capacity 500 liter, a bioreactor with a working capacity of 10 meter cube, a gas collector with a collection capacity of 2 meter cube, different accessories such as pumps, pH monitoring and control system, a flow meter, a steam generator, a hot water bath, an air compressor and a chiller. To start the operation, we use an indigenous lab isolate, Clefsilla pneumonia IITBT08, which is a facultative gram negative anaerobe. Our lab scale experiments demonstrated that this strain could generate up to 2.8 liters of hydrogen from 1 liter of organic waste. To initiate the plant operation, pure cultures of this strain are carefully cultured under aseptic conditions. The inoculum preparation for the plant is carried out in several stages. In the first stage, a loop full of the culture is transferred into 500 ml of nutrient broth media. This nutrient broth media is a complex nutrient rich media that supports the growth of the organism. This organism takes up to 10 hours to attain the midlock phase which is ideal for the hydrogen production. In order to facilitate the growth of this organism, this media is kept in an incubator shaker up to 10 hours. Following the growth, which can be visually seen in terms of turbidity of the media, this culture further acts as inoculum for the subsequent bioreactors. In the stage 2, this organism is further added as inoculum to a 50 liter reactor. The 50 liter reactor is equipped with a hot water bath to maintain the temperature and a gas collector. Through the inoculation port of the 50 liter reactor, media is carefully added into the reactor. Following this, inoculation is done into the reactor where a concentration of 10% volume by volume is maintained. This reactor is passed with nitrogen to maintain anaerobic condition and it is constantly monitored for its hydrogen production. The plant is also equipped with a PID controller which enables manual control of individual processes of the plant. Further, an online monitoring system of various parameters such as temperature, pH and the control of processes such as feed transfer to various reactors and the nitrogen supply etc. is possible through the software.
for the media preparation cane molasses is used as the primary substrate cane molasses is a by product of the sugar processing industry it is a viscous liquid consisting of approximately 40 to 50% of sucrose so to initiate the operation cane molasses at a concentration of 1% volume by volume is added to the feed preparation tank under constant mixing in addition to the cane molasses groundnut dye oil cake is also added as a nutritional supplement to the media groundnut dye oil cake is a by product of the agro processing industry this product is rich in nitrogen minerals and vitamins our lab scale experiments have shown that addition of groundnut dye oil cake to the media have significantly improved the hydrogen production upon thorough mixing it was essential to adjust the ph of the media the plant is equipped with a ph dosing and a control system the final ph of the media was adjusted to 7 the feed in the feed preparation tank is transferred to various reactors with the help of pumps in order to start the operation of the 10 meter cube reactor feed from the feed preparation tank is initially transferred to the feed tank 2 with the help of a centrifugal pump Nitrogen is passed in the feed tank too for sufficient time to maintain anaerobicity. This feed is further transferred from the feed tank too to the 10 meter cube reactor. The culture grown in the 50 liter reactor serves as the inoculum for the 500 liter reactor. Once the maximum rate of hydrogen production is obtained in the 50 liter reactor the culture in this reactor is carefully transferred into the 500 liter reactor with the help of a peristaltic pump following the transfer the 500 liter reactor is passed with nitrogen for sufficient time to maintain anaerobic condition at regular intervals constant recirculation of media is done using a circulation pump to maintain homogeneity in the 500 liter reactor
the culture that is grown in the 500 liter reactor further serves as the inoculum for the 10 meter cube reactor after the media is transferred to the 10 meter cube reactor inoculation is done from the 500 liter reactor constant sampling of the 10 meter cube reactor is done to monitor parameters such as ph cod and the volatile fatty acids gas production can be observed in the reactor within 3 hours of inoculation constant bubbling can be observed inside the reactor once the gas production starts the gas produced in the reactors flows through the pipelines and finally reaches the gas collector there is a provision to collect the gas in the gas collection tank for further use A flow meter installed along the pipeline constantly measures the production rate of the gas inside the reactor. In case of excess gas production, the gas can be exhausted through the flame arrested to the atmosphere. Gas chromatography is an instrument which is used to analyze the purity of gas. An online gas analyzing system is equipped with GC to check the composition of the gas produced in the reactor. The gas chromatograph is equipped with a thermal conductivity detector and a flame ionization detector. The thermal conductivity detector in the gas chromatograph detects hydrogen as indicated in the chromatogram. further some part of the gas was collected into a gas collector to manually check the flame properties upon ignition a blue flame was observed indicating the presence of hydrogen in the gas mixture we hope that our endeavors can contribute for a cleaner energy generation and simultaneous bioremediation for the future generations